Jaya! Jaya! Wow, that's such a sexy Jaya. <laughs> it looks very different when I say it and when she's saying it. Say that again. Jaya! Jaya! Mm, Jaya! <laughs> Let me practice that one. Mm. Topic for this video is yep, she's got emotions! Get over it! <laughs> So this one is for guys, okay? Here is here is a skill or a practice or something that is very important to mm. embody as a man. It is like, look at this woman. She's not a piece of wood, okay? She's like, she's navigating with the flow of life and moving with the energies of what's alive inside of her. And so she might do sometimes things that feel slightly uncomfortable or out of the range of out of what's predictable and out of what I'm used to. And this is called an emotional being. Yeah, my emotions might make you uncomfortable because they're all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> not always. You know, not, not always. always. No. But uh, always. but uh, the the point is this: it is that when uh, this woman is expressing something that is out of my comfort zone, mm -hmm. I can, you know, pull back, try to fix her, try to limit her, try to lock her in. You know, don't don't express or give be spacious enough for her to be able to express. So the mm. moment you start seeing the beauty, the refinement, the the energy, the life force into this woman, no matter what she's expressing, then uh, that's a state of freedom and that's a state of of acceptance and uh, honoring of all the dimensions of your beauty right. and um, so very often this is what tends to happen is it is that as guys we get really attracted by women who who express their emotions who are alive you know when I when we first meet we go like wow this is really juicy yeah. and then in the process of starting to relate we start trying to domesticate our women like lock them into places that become comfortable and predictable and this is a big big mistake mm -hmm. because what am I gonna do with this woman if I try to domesticate her is lock her into frames that are going to be very limiting for, for, yeah. for you. So the idea is to you know, yeah. expand open space. And the only reason you want to do that, any of us want to do that, is because we don't feel comfortable with what's happening. So when we don't feel comfortable, we try to control the other person. I don't feel good with what's happening. Men and women do this. I don't feel good with what's happening. So I want to control you so you can act in a way that makes me feel good. And that is just, um, that's, you know, that's coming from fear and that's limiting. That's a limiting energy, a limiting mentality. So I think this message is more around acceptance. Like, I think if, um, again, it always goes for men and women, but right now we're talking to men. Like, if you can just accept in yourself, like, yeah, my woman is going to have emotions and I'm not always going to feel comfortable with that. I'm not always going to get it. I have no idea what to do, but that that's who and how she is. If there's a level of acceptance, actually you're suffering from it. The sense of needing to make it different is going to go away and you're going to have so much more space for her to just be who she is and you're going to be okay no matter what. Exactly. So I think the key is like acceptance. Like, yeah, she's emotional. Like, yeah. get over it. And like, stay, she's emotional. That's how it is. Stay in, a, in the presence of the emotion that feels uncomfortable. For instance, yeah, no, the moment no. you feel it, you know, if you start screaming at me and it feels like there is glass being broken all over my body, <laughs> you know, which is literally what men might, might experience sometimes, totally. you know, intense totally. force and anger and frustration being projected in your direction. So how is it going to feel? It's going to feel like something really disturbing in your field. It's mm -hmm. like explosions of energy. And what's really interesting is that the moment you just stay there, yes. you don't react, you just stay yes. there and you say, wow, that's, wow, yes. Whoa! Yes. Yes. whoa, oh my uh -huh. God, this feels, this hurts, and that, then you realize that after a moment, the hurt starts turning into some form of release, and then beauty kicks in, and then suddenly joy and uh, and uh, yes. exhilaration. It's like it becomes yes. literally almost like an orgasmic trance feeling. And uh, I had that multiple times. You know, the first time that a woman started screaming at me, and suddenly I, I thought I saw that, and I go like, "Wow, there is so much." erotic energy right now mm. there is so much beauty there is and i had this experience with you so many times where i look at the the fire and the explosions and even the tears or sadness or you know intense mm -hmm. emotional release and then i look at that and I say i'm just blown away by how much mm. beauty there is there is uh, in, in you about that and the last one was like maybe two weeks ago mm -hmm. you know it, it was like a massive 
energetic impact on my system, but I look at it and I, I, you know, I position myself to be able to receive it. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. I think what, what happens with the opportunity is, is to access that space inside that doesn't need anything outside of you to change for you to be okay. That's actually what we're all trying to access. That's our infinite self. That is like the world can be exactly as it is. And I know the deeper truth, which is, it's all good. Like it's, it's actually okay. Exactly. And I also just want to say one little thing. Can I say one thing? Yeah, to the women? Of so around, um, expressing emotions, what I've learned a lot in this relationship is that, um, just because you have an emotion doesn't mean you have to express it. And for, I think that comes later. Like, I think there's an importance in expressing what's real for you. But my own process has taken me on a path of recognizing I want to be able to choose. I want to be in control, not suppressing. But do I, am I choosing to be an expression or is the expression choosing for me? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's probably a larger topic that we can maybe talk about more at another time. But it's been very empowering for me to be like, you know, I don't need to, I'm not um, enslaved by my emotions. Yes. I'm not enslaved. Because that's the same thing as being enslaved by your thoughts. Mm -hmm. It's all like if, if you're not accessing the inner truth and actually making choices from that place, then you're um, being controlled by... By, yeah. your, by your ego, basically. Beautiful. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So guys, be spacious enough to open space around yes. the woman that you love. And um, yeah, accept. Acceptance. Hold space for, for the vast diversity of her yeah, emotions. Yeah, just and know that that's how it is and let it be okay. And it will probably actually, her, the more you accept it, the the more the faster she'll move through her emotions. Yeah, the more it's beauty, really the, more, the more beauty, the more love, the more yeah. the expansion happens. We love you. Bye.